In a 20-minute duel, players fight for control over two out of the three castles in the center. You conquer castles by playing sellsword characters into the three associated lanes. Once a player has four or more sellswords in a lane, it is scored. Whoever holds the higher total strength at that point in time takes the castle. You hire sellswords from an available selection of four cards at a time by bidding coins on them. Your opponent then decides if they want to match your bid and pay you the set amount of coins, or pass and allow you to play the card. That means you not only have to think about what a card is worth to you, but also what your opponent might be willing to pay for it. There's huge potential for mind games. There's another twist though. There are 30 different sellswords in the game, each with their own unique special ability. Some of them are triggered under certain conditions, Others apply as soon as a card is played. A particularly exciting effect in the game is called Flip and allows you to turn cards face down. This will reduce the card's strength to zero and deactivate its ability. However, flipping cards on your opponent's side is always risky. If they manage to flip it back later in the game, they not only get the strength back, but the card's effects are once again triggered. In certain situations, it will even be beneficial to flip your own cards to build all kinds of crazy combos. That's all you need to know to start playing the game yourself. But even though it's quite easy to get into, rest assured that the game will keep surprising you with new and exciting challenges for a very long time. There's endless depth in the possible combinations of game states, board situations, and upcoming cards.